So, uh, thank you so much, uh, members of the media, the Fourth Estate, and the clinical officers who are surrounding me here. I am Mustin Odur. I'm the national uh, general, national general secretary of the Kenya Union of Clinical Officers. Uh, today, we are gathered here in the lakeside city of Kisumu. Uh, where the Nyanza and Western uh, Caucus of the Kenya Union of Clinical Officers are here to make a statement. And this statement, we are making it to the public, to the county governments, to the national government, and to our members. So, you know very well, uh, the Clinical Officers Fraternity are uh, doing the 11th day of national strike. And... Uh, in the 11th day, we've been engaging different stakeholders, that is the Ministry of Health, but unfortunately, we have not engaged the Council of Governors. Uh, reasons that we will state in the press statement that I will be reading shortly. So I'm here flanked by the branch chair of, the, of Kisumu, that is Vincent Owa, together with the, the officials. We also have uh, members of the executive branches of all the counties within Nyanza and Western. That's a total of 10 counties. So <clears throat> we, I just want to read the press statement. Then after that, we'll answer questions. And then we will uh, uh, say, we'll bid it goodbye. So this is the press statement by the Kenya Union of Clinical Officers on the ongoing strike here at the Jomo Kenyatta Sports Ground in the beautiful city of Kisumu. Today, 11th 4th, 2024. Today we are gathered here at the iconic Jomo Kenyatta Sports Ground in Kisumu. We, the Kenya Union of Clinical Officers, we convene here as we hit day 11 of our nationwide strike. We had issued a strike notice demanding action on 10 critical issues. Despite engaging the Ministry of Health, the Council of Governors has failed to comply with the court orders and where they have asked to finalize the collective bargaining agreement. This Monday saw a successful demonstration in Nairobi targeting the COG, SRC. Uh, we also went to Parliament. Today we are in Kisumu to augment the resolve. We, are, we advise our BSC interns to hold off on picking internship letters until the initial pay matches PSC job group or establishment. These interns are qualified professionals and not mere students. The enhanced risk allowance signed in 2021 by the former Cabinet Secretary for Health, Senator Mutai Kagwe, remains unimplemented. We urge the government to honor this agreement. The conversion of UHC staff to permanent and pensionable status is stalled at the county level, and we know the reason why. We urge the Council of Governors to expedite approval given the staff's inevitable services during the pandemic, and we all know that. We are also saying that NGOs in Nyanza and Western regions who have employed around 2,000 clinical officers, uh, we are calling upon the county governments to also convert these positions to permanent and pensionable. A ratification of the clinical officer career progression scheme is essential for operational efficiency. Counties in Western and Nyanza have failed to employ promote and resignate our members, affecting morale and exacerbating staff shortages. We commend, and this one should be, uh, it should be taken very seriously, we commend the governor of Sierra James Sorengo for supporting our ongoing strike. And we urge other governors to also do the same as we prioritize dialogue with the COG for CBA realization. We want to say that our strike persists and no force can deter us, no force, complete, completely no force on earth can stop us until our demands are met. Rumors of strike cessation in specific counties are false, null and void. Our strike is legally protected and attempts to obtain court orders by some eight county governors fell yesterday and the 10 the 10 
uh, issues that we are demanding, I've just uh, enumerated them there, but in summary, there are employment, uh, employer to recruit over 20,000 and employed and qualified officers. Government to provide comprehensive medical cover. Ministry of Health to pay clinical officer in terms. Our BSC, we told them to stop taking those letters until they are paid as per PSC guideline or how they were paid before. Counties with, with health salaries to settle payments. Uh, employer to give confirmation letters to permanent and pensionable for UHC staff. Public Service Commission approved career progression guidelines. State to finalize and register CBA in court within seven days. Kirinyaga County to reinstate uh, dismissed clinical officers. Health Ministry to give letters of promotion and enhanced risk allowance of 15,000. Actually, the enhanced risk allowance of 15,000 is why you are seeing us here on the streets daily. From coast to northeastern to Rift Valley to Nyanza, we are on the streets daily. We are not even, uh, uh, we are not even eating just because of this 15,000, which had already been signed and agreed by the senator, by then the minister for health or the cabinet secretary for health, Mutai Kagwe, signed and agreed. And the reason why they agreed, it was justifiable. It was justified that 15,000 risk allowance to be given to clinical officers. The Council of Governors, led by then Weekly for Paranya, who was the governor of Kakamega, refused to sign their part. So as we are just asking for what is due to us, the 15,000 risk allowance, and you know very well, uh, the clinical officers are the front line, health workers. If there is an outbreak of a disease here in Kenya, the first casualties, 70% of them will be clinical officers because we are the first people who get into contact with these patients. Just across here, the Kisumu County, County Referral Hospital, when you go there, those 80% of the patients there will be seen by clinical officers, and that is justifiable. And that is why we are asking for the 15,000. The national government had already signed. It was the turn for the county governments. The court, when we went to court, the court ordered that we go to the negotiation table with the Council of Governors together with the, uh, with the, with the, with the national government so that we come up with a CBA which was supposed to be completed and registered in 90 days. That was in 2021. The Council of Governors refused to attend those proceedings. And you know, by, uh, the Labor Relations Act allows for conciliation. A conciliator was appointed, still the Council of Governors refused. It reached a point where uh, the conciliator gave a report, and it was a very uh, heartbreaking report, that the Council of Governors have refused to come to the table, and they left it to us to call for the strike. And that's why we're saying the strike, the 11th day strike, which the clinical officers are on, is protected and there's nothing that the court can do. And that is why you saw uh, the, the county governor of, uh, of uh, Nyeri and Tarakaniti running to court to seek conservatory orders to stop the clinical officer strike. They were told by the sitting judge that we cannot give a conservatory order, yet this, this strike is as a result of a court uh, process. The court, this, uh, the, the court told us that we, they come to the table, they didn't come to the table. So what next? The labor laws, labor laws are very clear. When conciliation fails, then the, the party that is aggrieved is required to seek uh, alternative. And one of the alternatives that we, we, we had to seek is the industrial action. And we took time even before we went, to, uh, we called for this strike notice. We decided to still engage, write letters, but there was nothing forthcoming. So that is why we are on the streets. We are also on the streets because of the UHC staff. The government of Kenya has already provided almost uh, 6 billion Kenyan shillings to convert the UHC staff, uh, where we have almost, uh, almost uh, 1,000 clinical officers under the UHC, to be converted to P&P. &P. The, the money does not come from the county government. The money comes from the national government. It, is, it trickles down to the county. So what is required of the county government is just to, uh, to agree, to, 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 to agree and maybe do some paperwork and then these people will be converted. But you see, at the helm, there is this, uh, uh, this troublesome chair, Ann Mumbi Waiguru, who in fact, we have already started uh, uh, a petition. We want to remove her from, uh, from that position of, uh, of the Council of Governors chair before even a term's end. So we, we want uh, 
we, we, we are in the process of removing uh, the, 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 the Council of Governors chair before our terms end because uh, what is required of her is just to confirm that this UHC staff are our staff. Uh, the money is from the national government. We have no problem with it. Can we convert them into P and P? And also, uh, we want. We, we, we are also concerned. Uh, the Director General of Health, Dr. Patrick Amot, has been uh, reported. Uh, has been visiting radio stations, TV stations, and giving damning reports that clinical officers are only found within Kenya, within the territory of Kenya. We want to say. Uh, that this is false. Uh, this, is, uh, this is someone who is lying to the nation, considering that he's the principal advisor to the president on matters health, lying to 50 million Kenyans, lying to the president of the Republic of Kenya, not knowing that we have clinical officers in the East African community. We have clinical officers in all the East African communities. There is even a letter lying at his office, unless if he took that letter and put it under the desk. There is a letter lying at his office where clinical officers, the leadership and the top, leader, the top, top clinical officers are expected in Dar es Salaam where they are supposed to meet the Council of Ministers of Health. Why? There is the harmonization and, uh, and, and, and uh, there, there is the harmonization of the clinical officers' profession within East Africa, just like our counterparts, the medical doctors, where a clinical officer can work in Kenya, can work in Uganda without a lot of paperwork. So this harmonization was a directive that was given by the Council of Ministers of Health that sat last year in, in March in Bujumbura, Burundi. So they're supposed to sit, and we had a meeting in Rwanda, Kigali, two weeks ago, where these issues were discussed. And notwithstanding, we also have clinical officers in countries like USA, established countries like Canada, Australia. They are called physician associates. So when you say that they are only in Kenya and their, their, career, their career path is not... Uh, is, is, is something that he doesn't understand. It is, it is, he is lying. And, and remember, this week, we, uh, the, the, the Minister of Health is expected to sign uh, to approve the career progression for clinical officers. Mm. So why, is it, why are they approving it? Because we know the role that the clinical officers play. So again, he is also on our chop list. There is, a, there is a petition that we are also planning. We want to remove him before even he goes for interview. Uh, here is, 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 is shortlisted for the position of Director General. And we are saying that you cannot hold that position when you are lying to the public. We are telling the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission to march very fast up to Afi House and get hold of Dr. Patrick Amot because he is, is, is lying. And when you are lying, when you are lying, you don't qualify to hold a big position like the Director General. And in fact, he has been acting for more than... 15 years. He, he has now broken the record of that Malaysian DG who had acted for 20 years. So his acting, uh, his acting role comes to an end and we are also going to seek for his removal from the shortlist because there are able people who can even hold those positions. Even clinical officers can hold those positions. We have clinical officers with PhD. We have professors. We have several. The first DNT surgeon for the first president of Kenya, Jomo Kenyatta, was a clinical officer. So we are telling him, we are telling him off, and as a union, uh, there are mechanisms that we've put in place to ensure that it doesn't get confirmed. Yeah. There, are, there are very many Kenyans uh, in that field. So uh, I think that is, uh, in short, what I wanted to say, unless if my chairman here wanted to say... Uh, as I've been told, I'm called Awa Vincent, chairperson, Kenya Union of Clinical Officers, Kisumu County Branch. I would just want to emphasize on issues that affect us as uh, Kisumu County. Uh, you realize that uh, there was an ongoing promotion for clinical officers and we have quite a number who have not been promoted. Um, we also have our colleagues who are under UHC as the uh, uh, DSG has said, who are yet to be confirmed and we are not even seeing a way forward because um, there is no proper path of confirmation for them. And I think we want to make it clear and we have also told the executive in Kisumu County that even for that one clinical officer who is not confirmed, for that one clinical officer who is not, who has not received a promotion, we will go on strike. So I want to make it clear for Kisumu County clinicians and the members of the public that our facilities are closed. Even this morning I passed through KCRH and the outpatient is not working because 
the people that run outpatient services in this county are basically clinical officers. So I want to urge our members of the public that please seek alternative uh, uh, treatment in other facilities. We have private hospitals which are open. We have mission hospitals which are open. You can go there so that you get um, your treatment. But as Kisumu, we are saying that we are standing firm with the union and we are telling our members that we must keep home until it is done. Okay? We are saying that it is not done until it is done. That we must have promotions, we must have redesignations, we must have UHC clinicians confirmed, we must have our interns, and the interns are here. We know that uh, we have interns who are given uh, uh, appointment letters, and uh, they've received their letters on the ground. Then we have BSC clinicians, interns, that uh, they were told that their salaries were reduced. They call it a stipend. And these are qualified officers. And as a union, we are saying we will not accept that. In fact, in Kisumu County, we will not even accept them without actual letters that, that designate them in the right positions. Because we know that uh, a BSc clinical officer should be started at job group K or L. So if you give him a letter that shows that he's being paid 70000 and he was being paid 150000 is that correct? That is wrong because you are underpaying this person. So as Kisumu County, we are saying that we are not going to accept any intern that is not given the correct letter. We are glad that the, the, the diploma interns are already here. They were given correct letters and we allowed them to report to work. But they cannot work because their seniors are not on duty. Their consultants are not on duty. The medical officers are not on duty. So who is going to supervise them? So our, our point is the COG, our point is the MOH and the team that are involved in these negotiations must conclude them as fast as possible. Otherwise, we are not going to go back to work. That must be very, very clear. Thank you very and, much. And we are, we are saying we are going to break a record in Kenya because it seems we are going for more days. We might hit 200 days, more than the 100 days that, uh, that we had. And we are saying that the clinical officers in turn, those are not uh, students. They are saying that they are students. I saw SRC chair saying that they are wanatuonea uruma wanatuonea uruma wapi na hawa ni watu wenye wamemaliza masomo wamepata cheti they have their certificates people have their papers and already left they are just they are just prescribing what is required by the clinical officers council act which is a law that for you to get a, a full license you must undergo a one year internship because right now they have provisional license so the issue of stipend to mr president the issue of stipend please avoid it and tell your director general that there are clinical officers even in Equatorial Guinea where you are, even in Ghana where you are. And we are having the fourth international conference for clinical officers in the world in Gaboron, August 6th. And your counterpart, the president of Botswana, is the guest of honor. Please, Mr. President, can you visit Botswana on August 6th, August 26th to August 28th? We are inviting you. We'll give you an invitation letter. Please come. Come away, Zifika, to Mata, DG, Afike, DP. Honorable uh, Gashagua, Afike Apo, Alafu Aone, what clinical officers in the world are doing.